to? I think about baseball. And it goes on and on and on. Ah, see? Sometimes you're getting some dirt. How did that cow crap on me three feet away? This animal's been farting for 20 minutes. For most, it's a god-awful time of the morning. But for one man, by the time the sun rises, he's already put in a full and very intimate day. How many cows have you introduced yourself to so far today? Well, let's see, I've bred about 51 cows today. These dairy cows are running because they know Harry Anderson has arrived. Well, Harry's arm, anyway. It's like they know you. They're like, oh, look, it's that guy who's going to put his fist in my bottom. Man, they might be smiling. They might like that. You really got to gotta lean into it there, huh? Yeah, some of them are tighter than others, you know. Well, uh, that's the way of things. Yeah, just, you know that old saying, tight butts drive me nuts? I don't know that you one, You don't no. know that one? No. His title, artificial cow inseminator. He's been on the job 28 years, a business his father started in 1951. He'll service 12 to 15 dairies a day, seven days a week, armed with tubes of genetically exceptional frozen bull sperm. <laughs> How that's collected is a whole nother story. As the bull mounts, they grab the bull's sheet and pull it off to the side, and then they slap an artificial vagina onto the bull's penis. So this came from a bull somewhere, where, in the Midwest somewhere? Yeah, this came from Plain City, Ohio. From Ohio. Yeah, so a bull in Ohio named uh, Hun, Hunsucker Commando. <laughs> Dairymen will give him ID numbers of the cows in heat. At around 20 bucks a lady, Harry and I waste no time. You know, I'm going to go ahead and take the watch I'm off. sure the cow would appreciate that. We're going into the, to the rectum. Right. My, my arm right. is going into the rectum. And through the wall of the rectum, I'm going to feel for the horns of the uterus. Right, exactly. And then with the other hand, we have the gun that's going to go in. Right. And and somehow I'm going to line it up just right and then fire the, yeah, the sperm. That's, that's the tricky part. We have to clean off the vulva of the cow and make sure we don't uh, pass anything into the vagina and into the cervix. There's nothing worse than a dirty vulva. See, you got your vulva all, all messed up here. Uh, see, this is what I'm talking about. They want you to think they're done. Your vulva is just a disaster. Look at that. You can't go out in public with a vulva like that. They're not done. Some of them are full of it. There we go. Now that's a clean vulva. Sure. Harry, you could eat off that vulva. The cow seems remarkably, uh, well, you know what? I think I just saw a tear. Well, it's up to God and the cow. It's out of our hands. We can't it's, do it. No, I'd say it's in your hands. <laughs> sure, it's a filthy job. Eye-opening, you might say. It's me, Mike. Come by to stick my arm up your ass. But without Harry, milk prices would soar. Now, I've never been responsible for creating a life. In some bizarre way, I think my time has come. Take my hand. All right, I'm going in. I'm going in. Well. I'm surprised, Harry, how much you have to lean into it. Whoa. And if you put that tail on the other side of your shoulder there, uh -huh. that'll be, that way it'll be out of your way. If I vanish, drop the camera, grab my feet. How many times a day do you wash your hands? This is as weird as it gets. I'd like to have a dollar for every time I wash my hands, Mike. I think I'd be a rich man. See this part, the part that's full of the crap? That's going to hit me in the face. Keep it away from your face. Just throw it over your shoulder, and it'll stay on that other side. OK. I'd give you a dollar right now if you had a sink in here. This cow's about 200 degrees. This cow was on fire. I know. I know. And there's a gun in your vulva. So there, I think I'm set. Good. Well, Put it in there, and uh, we'll see if you're going to be a papa in nine months. This is just blatant upstaging. Yeah. She's got to do what she's got to do. What's going on over there? Oh, she's just jealous, isn't she? She wants you. She wants she you next. She wants me bad. Yeah. Hang on, honey. There's a lot more where this came from. 
I got two arms, you know. If it looks like you, we know who the father is. If it has my eyes. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I, I, want, I want visitation rights every other weekend. And, uh, you know, just the normal stuff. We'll name it Mikey. I mean, I can't raise it on my own, but I want to be a part of its life. I've made the acquaintance of many just remarkable ladies today, but there was one. We had something special. Her name was number 107. 107 doesn't mind an arm in her rectum. She just is a little scared of the camera. I know. One minute you're chewing your cud, and the next minute your pictures are on the internet. You once, twice, three times a lady. Anyway, back in those days, I was majoring in English. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Isn't it romantic? Where's the candlelight? I don't know. I wouldn't light a match. I don't know if it was love at first sight, but I know when I hopped out of that truck, I caught your eye, you caught my eye. Who knows how these things happened? This will cure me of that nail-biting habit. Harry, is it true that you stand behind every cow you service? I don't know. Maybe we rush things. Maybe we should have taken more time. Oh, it's almost too easy sometimes. Have you ever seen the artificial intimidator's handshake? No. How's it go? It starts with Harry's arm, and it ends with that cold, white glass of nectar, an important job that somebody's got to do. Do you love him? Do you really love him? Is she smiling, Mike? At first, now she's biting her lip. I think she said, wait a minute. Yeah, she said, is that all you have? No, I'm sorry. Is it in? She wants to know if it's in yet. In, it's over. I'm gonna smell like cow for the rest of my life. Yeah, but they, they say it puts hair on your chest. Can I see you again? I understand. Well, I bet you fart on all the guys, don't you? It's gonna be like that, isn't it? How many ways can I offend the viewer in one four-minute piece? <laughs> I'll smoke, I'll violate a cow, and I'll use bad language. It didn't get any better. Mm. At least you didn't expose yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Show's not over yet. <laughs>